when I saw you walking across that church parking lot for the first time, every part of me prayed that I'll be right here in this moment. You have given me more joy than I have ever experienced, and for that, babe, I am beyond thankful. First kiss, nervous, just so scared I'd mess it up. Cause you could be the last time that I'd get to fall in love. Trayvon Jaquay, I remember the very first time we talked, the conversation was so easy with you. That conversation led to our first date, the next day going to church. After that date, I knew this was gonna be different and I was scared, but you continued to help me break down so many walls that I had built over the years. And I'm so thankful that you did. You're still making me breakfast, but now you know what I like. And when I get restless, it's like you can read my mind. Oh, your patient, constant, and steady like that sign. I love that you're the last time that I get to fall in love. I am so in awe of you, and I will follow you to the end of times. There are a few promises I want to make to you. I promise I will always put God first and you second. I promise I will never stop pursuing you. I promise our marriage will be about we and not me. And I promise I will confide in you and not hide from you. Thank you for being my voice of reason when I'm being dramatic. Thank you for rushing back from school to make every one of the girls games. Thank you for choosing all three of us. I've prayed for you for years before I ever knew you. I waited so long to find you, and today, standing before you, the man God had for me all along. I'm so thankful that I was patient and never settled. I love you now, and I promise I will love you as long as we live. Trey, are you ready? Absolutely. Kiss your bride. Yes. Turn and face this people here. I give you Mr. and Mrs. Trey Willis. Katie, I don't know how you did it all those years. I really don't. With the girls and everything going on, you've been a great mother and a good daughter. And now the day has come that you have gotten married to a great guy, Trey. I know you love him and I know he loves you by the way y'all look at each other and the way y'all talk to each other. And as I told you earlier, I've watched Cam and I've watched McKinley crawl up in his lap and tell him how much they love him. Katie, I've watched you grow through many seasons, chapters of life written where our Creator crafts this perfectly imperfect life of adventure and wonder. Your story is now pinned with another, someone to be your safe haven and your rest, to let you know you are not alone and to stand strong with you. Someone to celebrate you, to hold you in the highest regard, to keep you safe in your heart, mind, and soul. To create new chapters with and go on the greatest of endeavors, or cruises. <laughs> you wander no more. 
Katie and Trey, the story is yours. Write it. Love it to the fullest and live with the utmost intent each day. Picking a best man probably wasn't the easiest, easiest choice for you. But I'd like to welcome the, the boys up here, all the boys. You got a best family, man. And we behind you every step of the way, through every up, every down. You know what I'm saying? We love you. And, you know, we're glad that you got that right there. And that your last name is now Willis. We got a beautiful story. Never